All right, real quick one, um, or hopefully it will be, but I was driving and I was thinking about, you know, people, there's, there's all this discussion about, um, you know, creating your reality and so on and so forth, and, and it's gotten more popular over the last, especially the last three years, but, um, you know, the study of metaphysics was something, which is something that I've been studying for a very long time, and... This idea where a lot of people say that, oh, you know, you can't just sit there and think and expect everything to happen for you. You have to take action, so on and so forth. And then there's other people who like are like, literally, I can sit here and create, you know, have had the checks come to my mail, have the checks come to my door. And, you know, I think trying to be right on either side or figure that out is is not the right uh is not the helpful most useful discussion i think i think something that uh an insight that i got from bashar um is is i think very valuable and bashar says that the language of this physical reality is physical action and in order for the universe to understand what it is that you want, you have to speak the language of this particular physical reality, right? And that language happens to be action. And so that, to me, that makes perfect sense, right? Um, if, and, and by the way, so here's, here's why I bring this up. Um, if I have this discussion all the time about, you know, if you want to actually build muscle or strength or ch change, basically change the way that you look physically, right, which is going to be a byproduct of having muscles that are, are a little bit bigger and uh, harder and um, have tone. Tone meaning a, l a certain level of contraction, right? Low level contraction. Um, and in order for a muscle to change, for it to, we can simplify all that. Like we want the muscle to look better. We want to get rid of the fat on top, but we want the muscle underneath to look better. And in order for the muscle to actually change to look the way that we want, we have to we have to speak the language of muscle and the only thing that muscle understands is tension okay and by tension i mean like if you flex your bicep if you flex your hand and uh make a fist and then you know do a curling motion you're putting tension on your bicep if i pick up a dumbbell immediately i'll feel tension on my bicep and then as I try to curl it up, I will increase the amount of tension on my bicep. So that's the only language that a muscle will understand in order for it to say, oh, here's the signal to blah, blah, blah. It doesn't care that you've read all the books about and the blogs and the YouTube videos about muscle hypertrophy and how muscle grows and how to get leaner. It doesn't care about that because it doesn't understand that. It doesn't understand whether you use a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a barbell, a band, body weight. It doesn't understand that. The only thing that it is responding to is the amount of tension and the repeated exposure to tension over time. That's it. So if I can understand what is the language of the thing that I'm trying to change, then I can have a much better conversation and get the results that I want. And so that's why I say that, you know, and th that's why like Bashar's explanation of that was so wonderful is because it's like, oh, of course. So I, I want to think what I want to think and feel good and imagine the results that I want, that's all well and good. And then I want to also speak the language of 
physical reality, which is physical action. So, it, so if I want to build muscle, I can't just sit here and read. I need to go speak the language of the muscle. I need to go lift some weights, um, and I need to do it in a way that increases the tension. And then, you know, if I want to make more money, I have to speak the language of of physical reality, which let's say if uh, let's say somebody is a uh, owns owns a store and they just sit in their store hoping that more customers come. Well, more customers might come, but they can take the action of cleaning the store, organizing the store, having more variety, having their shelves all tagged and organized and neat, having better customer service, being friendlier, knowing people's name. Like those are all physical actions that that person can take so that the universe can understand even more so and then the result will be produced, right? He will make more money. So anyways, real short one, uh, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, again, as always, if you have questions, you want to talk about coaching, if you need help, you need a consultation, maybe set up your plan or program or you got questions, shoot me a message, find me on Instagram, rambeard.sangera, or shoot me an email, rambeard uh, at sanjosebarbell.com.